Police are still investigating a deadly shooting that happened in Harrisburg last night. Uh, Fox 43's Tyler Hatfield joins us now live from the capital city with what we know this morning. Tyler, the community really still reeling from another shooting that took place nearby. Yeah, Sean, Harrisburg police responded to a deadly shooting last night at around 545. And when they arrived to the scene, they found a woman shot who later died at a local hospital. Now, Harrisburg police was investigating another deadly shooting in the same area just only two weeks ago. Now, this is what the scene looked like yesterday. The deadly shooting took place around North 4th Street and Woodbine Street. Police have begun an investigation and there's still no word on whether there is a suspect or whether any others were involved in the incident. This deadly shooting comes less than two weeks after another deadly shooting took place less than two blocks away. That was near a grocery store on North 6th Street and Woodbine. 27 year old Christian Watt was killed and last Friday police arrested Jerome Coleman Jr. in connection to the shooting. There was a community cleanup yesterday in response. Organizers were cutting grass, picking up trash and pulling up weeds to clean up the Governor's Square neighborhood. You have the YMCA, you have a lot of area around here where children uh, need to play. And I don't think that they should play around uh, drugs being sold, guns being shot. We want our neighborhoods back. Um, and so this is the first step in doing that. Now, Harrisburg police are still investigating last night's deadly shooting, and we're still trying to gather information ourselves about what exactly happened. And if you have any more information, Harrisburg police ask you to please come forward. For more information, you can head to our website at fox43.com. But for now, live in Harrisburg, I'm Tyler Hatfield, Fox 43 News.